And that is why cardio is the most important part to being a superhero. The Grammys are on. What do you mean? We're, we're live? Shit! Hello! Clark Kent here with the news. And I would like to tell you that no one's given me any actual news to report. But we did find some funny clips. I don't know who trained this man, but he is got, he is pretty, he's got quite a figure. Tonight at 7, though, we are having a wonderful event down here at the community center. We're going to be having a soup kitchen. Ironically, we're not serving soup, though. We're serving justice. We're fingerprinting all of the children. In case they resort to crime in the future, we can track them down. We're also grabbing those dental records. You always want to be sure to get those. Oh. Mike Stevenson. We just got a scoop on Mike Stevenson, mayor of the city. What a scandal. Apparently, his mistress found out about him and his wife. And she's taking the house and kids. Jim's know all about that, am I right? In other news, I asked my boss today for a better desk. Mine has poor shape, I guess you could say. It's very uncomfortable. I have to lean forward. He also won't upgrade this cheap-ass chair he got. You would think for someone who's running a news station, they'd be able to afford this kind of thing. But no! All they can afford is therapy for Jim and Jim. Even though I am clearly the star. And I'm here to run things. But I guess I don't deserve it. Just like my ex-wife. Never mind. That's all Jim's department. Anyway. I guess I'm supposed to look over here. That's it for the news. Jim, to you. Hello, this is Jim W with the weather. Thank you, Clark. Today no it's... Thank you, Clark. Today it's rather cold out there. Cold like the heart of my ex-wife. Cold like the time that she told me I would never be a good weatherman, even though my name is W, which is the first letter in weatherman. You s it's W-E-A... But tonight, I have an important announcement to make to all of our viewers. This will not be our last airing. We're just getting started, kids. Now buckle up and get ready for the royal fuckery that we're about to unleash on you. I'm not allowed to say fuck? What do you mean it's against the law? It's a word. Freedom of speech. What do you mean? Okay. I don't know what to tell you guys, but uh, I doubt we have many viewers right now due to the fact that the Grammys are on. But I would just like to let you all know 
that there are some crazy things happening in the city today. Now, if you look here, you can see every man running through the streets, fighting crime, protecting the city. A true hero. This just came in, though. Notorious gangster Fingerbang has been seen walking the streets of the very same city. And an exclusive scoop, we found out that every man is currently looking for the gangster named Fingerbang. Will he find him? Will he get through this? Can Fingerbang be stopped? Every man, please help protect this city. Where are my keys? Oh no! Where? Who knows what we'll see next. Shopping mall incident has tens of people in the hospital this afternoon as a bunch of mothers started fighting over the wine. Limited selection has only been available due to trucker protests. If only there was someone to stop him. Crime levels are at an all-time high in the city and we are losing hope. But in other news, the all-male New York Cynthia Choir is coming to town. That's right, our big old city's getting some big old hits. Like the traditional, what you gonna do with that? Or the one and only, their hop hit, Yes, I'm a Dad. What's your name? Coming to you live next Tuesday at 3 p.m. We'll be there live on the scene the Oscars? I've been saying the Grammys the whole time and it's the Oscars? Who the fuck cares? No one watches them anyways. <laughs> I would like to let our viewers at home know, though, that tonight the Oscars are on and they shouldn't be watching them. Because why watch the Oscars when you can appreciate true heroes like every man and sheriff deputy and me, your newsman or Jim S, our sportsman or Jim W, our weatherman. Or, or, all right, I gotta go meet Clark Kant, the man of the hour up there at the news studio 1711 Tango Charlie Niner. Uh, yeah, the interview is at seven and oh shit fuck so I'm a half hour late for this interview with Clark Kent uh, we're gonna speed down these roads a little bit don't mind a little bit of police traffic breaking <laughs> you know what I mean Gonna turn on these sirens, get everyone out of our way. Wee woo, wee woo!
anyone see me without these on. Lucille, get me a coffee. Last Tuesday, you saw the funny clip of Mr. Awesome. Oh, shit. No, not Mr. Awesome. <laughs> shit. Hold on. That's right. Every man. You, you saw every man running the streets of our town. Not just running, but he skipped. He galloped. He trotted for the people in this city. If you look, you can see him stopping an armed robbery. Oh, hold on. We actually don't have footage of the armed robbery. It was confiscated by Deputy Sheriff. Anyway, we do have some clips of every man protecting our city, keeping people safe. One day at a time. Eventually, We'll be okay to lose our keys in the dark. We'll be okay to walk at night. And we'll be okay. Yeah, we'll be okay. Today, our local community ice cream shop is no longer there. For it had an unfortunate fire breakout, which is pretty ironic for how cold they keep that place. The cries of the children can be heard for miles. Thank you, and have a good night. Well, it's kind of dark in this place. Guy. Hello? Hey, I'm running late. Oh, shit. I, I thought shit. I was shit. late. I'll be there soon. Alright. Shit. You sound. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just, oh. just give me like five minutes. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. Shit, shit. Hello? I'm I'm here, I'll be right over. Shit. Nice Hi. of you to finally join me, Clark. Hello there, Deputy Sheriff. Sheriff Deputy. It, it's Sheriff Deputy. But isn't your title Deputy Sheriff? No. So your name I, is Sheriff I'm, Deputy? I am the police chief, Sheriff Deputy. Okay. Um, all right, well, let's start our interview here. All right. You have a pen and paper somewhere that you're going to be no, recording I, the, the details and nope. in specifics of this conversation? I have a voice recorder. Hold on. Uh, audio recorder, if you will. <clears throat> so, All right, so uh, you asked me here on this interview. Yes. I want to know your views and opinions on Clark Kent. You? Yes. You want, you want to know what I think about you? Just curious, yes. Uh, I, 
it. I think that you could sit up a little straighter during during your broadcasts. Uh, Are you really coming at me about my posture? Yes. What? <laughs> what, what else you got, Clark? Well, overall, what's what's your opinion of every man? Every man. Well, that's kind of a strange segue from from Clark Kent into every man, the superhero. It's not very I mean, weird. I, I mean, vigilante. He's not. But he he's, is a he's, superhero. He's not a superhero. Yes, he so. is. He is a superhero. He is just as bad as the crime guys. Are you telling me, Fingerbang, the man who murdered 13 women on their way home from work, is just as bad as every man? Yes. How? Of course they're How? just as bad. Every man hasn't taken a single life ever besides those of the criminals. Who no deserve way, it. I'll tell you what he has done. He's taken jobs away from my good men and women down at the precinct. He keeps stopping all of the criminals before us men and women of the badge of law can stop them. So, I'm here to tell you that I'm going to find, to find every man and I'm going to stop him. I'm going to stop him from stopping them so that I can stop them. So that I can get the money that I need to stop my children from starving. Did you ever think that maybe every man is doing this because of a hole inside of his heart somewhere that someone made? That someone caused? Someone who brought him great pain? And he thought that maybe, just maybe, if he helped keep the streets safe, helped keep crime away from the people who need protecting, that he could fill that hole in his heart? You got children to feed? What about the starving children on the streets? I've never seen Clark can't do anything about starving children. Well, All he's doing is going around, walking around with his fucking newspaper for cape ass, and he's just going around telling crime to stop it, and I've had enough of it. There's no crime left in the city for the two of us. Wait. Crime levels are at all time high. What do you mean there's not enough crime in the city for the two of you? There's more than enough crime. There's so much crime that half your precinct is corrupt. I mean, I... S all, uh, a lot of our cops go undercover so that they can sell drugs to the community so that they can stop them from doing drugs. I mean, it, it's a win-win, really. You see, they they get the drugs, and they, I mean, they don't really get to use the drugs very much before I catch but up to them. But they do get to use the drugs. So you're creating an addiction problem in this city. No, you're causing no, no. You're, 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 no, you're, no. You're putting words in my mouth, Clark. You're... That, that's not what I said at all. It's Mr. Kant. All right, all right whatever. No, no, no. Uh, it's not whatever. <laughs> it's Mr. Kant. All right. Address me accordingly. I have... I demand respect. Gym Sports? I guess it's your time to shine. The directors are pointing me that direction. Let me just point myself and my whole body at Jim. Hello, Jim. Jim. Can you hear me, Jim? Down over here. Wherever the weather is, I'll be pointing. I'm Jim Weatherman with the weather we're having. There's a cold front coming in, and quite honestly, it reminds me of my wife. What, what do you what do you want? Just uh, just some just, just some drugs, I guess. Right, we got, <laughs> let's, let's see here. I got uh, <laughs> got that one. Got this one. What's that one, dude? 
This one right here? Yeah, what's it do? That one's fucking crazy, dude. I don't know. Uh, how are you with tryptophonics? <laughs> I, 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 uh, I studied Egyptian on Hooked on Phonics. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, this one's kind of like, uh... You know, like, when you just open a can of refried beans? Yeah. It's kind of like that. Do you have anything Zataranzi? Uh... You got, you got any, uh... Uh... Any gumbo? That's just your hand. Um... <laughs> Money? Oops. Do you got the stuff? <laughs> <laughs> got this right here. This will, this will really take it. Really blow your socks. I finally got them. The drugs. Woo! Stop in the name of the law. I'm Sheriff Deputy. I've got kids. I don't care. They've got kids. You've got drugs. And they've got a dog. You have drugs. You gave me this. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you were undercover the whole time. No! <laughs> Even criminals deserve a second chance. Are we good? Are we live? Are we still live? We're live. We're live? So in other news, today, Sydney Crawford is having an open house. Congratulations, Sydney. We knew you could get through high school, even if it took you several tries. At this event, there will be featuring free food. Pulled pork, barbecue pork, ribbed pork, Basically every shape of the pig. Anyways, back to you, Jim and Jim. I hear you got weather and sports coming up, guys. Enjoy. This is Clark Kant, signing off. Be safe driving. And also, it's three and a half inches. But we're gonna tell her that it's five inches. Sports? I'm Jim S. with sports. With sports. So, we're having some sports today, man. We got cricket. Big match video ko aapne like zaroor karna hai, pura match dekhna hai. Pura match dekhna hai. Zabardast mazadar video hai. No, no, no. It's not whatever. It's Mr. Kant. All right. Address me accordingly. I have... I demand respect. Oh, look, look at the high and mighty news anchor. Coming at me. Fucking chief of police. Who's trying Sheriff to stop Debbie. a hero. Who's trying to stop hey, a hero? There's no heroes in this city, son, and you'd best learn that. I'll have you know this will be on the news tonight. I'll have you know we'll be talking about this. Clark Kent worked at a soup. Oh, I, I'm Clark Kent. I worked at a soup kitchen with every man just last Tuesday. Oh, well, that's funny because I don't think I've ever heard anyone say that they've seen the hero. <laughs> Every man in the same room as the broadcaster. Clock can. Well, you haven't seen every man in the same room with Jim. Or Jim? Yes, I have, actually. In fact, look at this photo. Let's go off the record for a second. 
how much will it cost you to stop pursuing every man? Well, this is a very complicated question. I'm willing to offer you fifty million in cash right now. On on such a salary as your own, you're gonna offer me fifty million dollars. Where where are you getting this fifty million dollars? You you working for the Al Chapinis? No. I would never. <laughs> I can't tell you where I got the money. All well, I can tell kind you of suspicious. It's clean. Well, I washed it this morning. Let, let me see. Let, let me see this money. Hold on. Let me go grab it for you. Well, it's just a conversation. You're having a conversation with me. But we're on TV while live while we have that conversation. Yes, we are, but that's okay. When are we going live anyway? I... Wait. Are we live? He's counting down from three. I oh. think he started at five, but I feel he's at two now. One. Oh, oh, that's the signal. That's the signal. Hi, welcome. Hello. Breaking news. This is Clark Kent with the news. It and can't. it's breaking. It's Clark Kent. <laughs> you just tell me how to pronounce my own name? Yeah, it's pronounced can't for legal reasons. I have a speech impediment. I am sorry. <laughs> Can't. Right, with the news. With the news. And a criminal. And, oh, you're a criminal? <laughs> I'm a criminal. I'm glad we figured that out. All right. Hi, criminal. Hello, it's good to be on the news Hi. TV. I'm on TV at the news. Yes, you are. Uh, why don't you tell us why you're here today? And by us, I mean me. Remember. So, yeah, just you? It's but you want me, me to look right here? Yes, look All at right. that little red dot. So when we were at, I was, we were filming a video about how to break into the local library. Me and finger bang. And, uh, notorious gangster notorious finger bang. Notorious gangster finger bang. No, I'm Can not affiliated. Hold, it's okay. But I do um, know him personally. I, you, I babysit his daughter sometimes. Can you say this one more time looking at the notorious camera? Notorious gangster finger bang louder. and I were filming a a how to break louder. into the... It's the local library. We were going to break into there. And then out of nowhere, here comes... It's, it's the guy in the cape. The uh, man. The guy, every guy. And every man? Every man, thank you. Yeah, you no look problem. a little like him right hey, here in the no, gym, I don't. in the face. No, you know I don't what know I mean? what you're talking about. My I'm just saying, Clark Kent, his not cape any fell man. off when we were there, and I could have swore it was you. What? But anyway, so he shot every man, and you haven't been shot, so that kind of that proves nope. it. I haven't been shot. Right. But anyway, yeah. They shot every man. He's dead. Or so they think. No need to worry, criminal. Well, I mean, you need to worry. I don't think Clark Kent's dead. I mean, I mean, every man. You're alive and kicking, man. You're a good guy. Yeah. You're good people. Sorry, I get, I get words mixed up. It's part of my slur. Anyway, now that that segment's over, I suppose... I have a couple more questions for you, actually. Oh. If you don't mind. We're doing an interview segment as well after the break? I mean, we're doing an interview. Yeah. All right. I mean, I feel like you've got a real story here. Yeah. And after we get through talking to criminal over here. I'm a criminal. Yeah. I will not disclose my name. Footage. We'll show off the footage. Okay. Thank you. And see you in a moment. All right. We're at commercial. Great. You're doing great. Thank you. I'm going to really stick around for the interview. Thank you. Uh, you had said, what were you going to ask me? Can I know the questions before you ask them? I feel like it would be better if we got a genuine response out of you. All right. Um, that being said. That being said, we heard that the Kim Kardashian just got a divorce. We got the insider scoop on that coming up next Thursday at 6 p.m. Your favorite news station. We just can't stop. Show him, motherfucker, that he can get away with harassing me and me. Here's your 50 million for you, bud. Yeah, yeah, read it and weep. I got another one right here. Just because I moved the recorder away from me doesn't mean it stops recording, dumbass. I got that all on audio. I'm taking your ass down. Oh, is that so? If you don't stop pursuing every man right this minute, 
I will show everyone that audio recording and expose you for the corrupt crook that you are. Well, we haven't said anything about corruption or anything really in this interview, but I will disclose to you my plan on how to catch every man. What are you doing? I, Sheriff Deputy, am going undercover. Whoa, who are you? Where'd the Sheriff Deputy go? Fucking stupid. Sheriff Deputy, there you are. Someone was just here in a ski mask. He scared the shit out of me. Stay here. See, so as you can see... Whoa, where'd you go? No one will ever be able you. to tell that it's me, Sheriff Deputy, under this, this piece of cloth on my head. You're not the sheriff deputy. I know what he looks like, and he doesn't look like you. Oh, is that a fact? Yes, it is. Well, I have for you here. Hold on, you're just, you're just gonna have to give me one second. I wonder if he knows I'm every man. <laughs> I'm, I am sheriff deputy. It's just a picture of a sheriff's badge. I know. No, this is my badge. Your your badge is digital. Yes. I know cryptocurrency's blowing up, but this shit. Yeah, I mean NFTs kind of took off, and our our department decided that we we needed to fit in with the times more. So. I mean, I could pull that up on my phone. Does that make me a sheriff? No. What do I have to do to become a sheriff? Well, first of all, there has to be an opening for the position of sheriff, excuse me, I have to adjust my... So, you're so telling there me... has to be an opening for the position of sheriff, and and then you, you, just, you just go down and apply. I just apply? Yeah. What are the qual like requirements? Oh, you don't, you don't got to worry about that. There's, they, you know, I just take a good look at you and... They, they see how you look with with a gun and a badge, and if if you look good enough, here, hold on, sorry, you can't you can't look me in the face right now. If you look good with a gun and a badge, then you can be a police officer. Do you, do you think I would look good with a gun and a badge? No, not at all. What about every man? No, he'd look even more villainous and scummy. With a badge? And a gun? I think this interview is over. If that if that's how you really feel, then have a good day and get out of my house. This is my house. Not anymore, I'm commandeering it under the name of the law. The law? can't do that. See, it's, it's come to my understanding that you're pretty good friends with every man, so I'll be staking out your house, and by that I mean living in it for a half of a year in order to find every man. And then I will apprehend him, and I'll take him down to the station, and I'll gather all of my comrades around and we'll sit him down in a chair in the middle of the room. <laughs> we'll gather around him in a big semicircle. And we'll point our fingers at him and we'll laugh. We'll laugh on the heartiest laugh. We'll even let the captain in on it. Do you know what you sound like? A villain. I need you to take your glasses off. You sound like. No, I, I, I can't. I you can't take sound. My like the cackling Captain Cackler. I know, sir. No? That is a completely different man from me, but I am required under police sanctioned policy to never let anyone see my eyes. Is it because they're the eyes of a liar? I don't have, I don't know why we're not allowed to show our eyes. Uh, yeah, you want to know what no, every man told no. me? Because we are in contact. We're Facebook buddies. If you want to know, we're Facebook buddies. Oh, uh, he doesn't come every, every man has a Facebook. Huh? Let, me, let me see if I can find him. You can. 
You can't find him. It's private. And I told him to block you before this interview, in case I had to pull this card. He never tells me where he's at. He never does. He doesn't come here. He's out in the streets, saving people. But he saw the brilliance behind these sunglasses. Well, why don't you, can you remove see his your eyes. glasses? Because I have vision issues. I only have nine... 20 vision. That's almost completely right. blind. I think this interview is over. Yeah, that's right. Leave. Leave like you I'm always I'm gonna go do. get a cup of coffee and I expect you to be gone from this house. You're just walking away from crime like you always do, Sheriff Deputy. Crazed Cap'n Cackler his mother called us and let us on the big scoop. It turns out he was just bullied in high school for his inability to not laugh. It made him so mad to the point that he resorted to crime. He became one of the biggest crimes in the city. Selling laughter by the gallons. And not for everyone. Just for him. Anyway... You look here, you guys can witness what happened with every man in the notorious gangster finger bang. Yeah, so this this was my usual crime spot. We're we're a little bit we're like half half crime time. So over here we got the library, you know you got all your Susie Doos and Clark Cats coming out of here. <laughs> uh, so what we're gonna do is we're we're gonna break in to this fine establishment and we're gonna find their secret documents noting the locations of the tunnels that run through this city in order to get to the bank across the street. All right, are you ready? Hey, wait! Here we go. The fuck is this guy? Stop me! Don't, don't make me finger bang you. It's too loud, everyone will hear! Every man, you've been a thorn in my side for so long. Well, joke's on you! I'm not a thorn this city has, but I am the thorn it needs. Well, I just so happen to know what your greatest weakness is, and what every man. No, you don't. I don't have one. Oh. This one's got a quiet. Oh, no. No one's gonna hear the sounds that you're gonna make when... when you die. <laughs> That's right. Everyone will hear the sounds of every man dying. Because every man is every man. I'm gonna... I'm um, no! Oh, you stop! Got, what are you gonna do? Get, get away from me! Stop? You you better stop! Don't point your gun at me! I'm gonna stop you from stopping me! Yeah? Yeah? Oh, what I got both of them now. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Bang! Oh! 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 Bang. oh. oh. So anyways, we're gonna go into here and get the secret document. He's still alive, you wanna kick him a little bit? Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> make sure of here. Oh. oh, that looked like it hurt. My you can't. You... Who are you? Hey, it's Clark Kent. It's Clark Kent. Hey. Who the fuck? I'm Clark. Wait, put, no, get I'm your not? cape. Your cape <laughs> fell. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Hello, I am a criminal, and tonight is the news. 
Uh, it's um, somebody was shot, and crime crime rates are. I I like them. I like them where they are. I wouldn't like crime rates to get any higher though, because there wouldn't be any crimes for us criminals to commit, and that's kind of like our entire job. Is this the same accent as I was doing before? We'll never know. That's tonight at 11. I right, like that's it. where I'm gonna have to stop you. Oh no. I'm, I'm, I'm Sheriff, I'm sheriff deputy. deputy. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you know who I We am. know all the cops by name and address, and we oh. don't come after you guys because we respect the job. Well, you know, that's very nice of you and all, but I'm I'm here to do my job. Right. And, 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 you're you know, arresting me, right? Well, you see, you just announced that you're a criminal uh -huh. on live national television. I thought we weren't on the air. Yeah. Right. Before that. Oh yeah, during yeah during the segment when yeah. I said when I introduced well, yeah. myself, mm -hmm. uh huh. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, uh. bang. Hey, so there was. Breaking news, police chief sheriff deputy on the run, committed a cold-blooded murder live at the studio while we were on our commercial break. Cold-blooded killer. It is important now that we all lock our doors tonight and hope that someone out there can stop this deputy sheriff from causing more chaos and crime. I thought he was supposed to keep the streets safe, but all he's doing is keeping the streets not safe. That's why our crime is here still, and it will never go down until we take down Deputy Sheriff. Sheriff Deputy. Sheriff Deputy. My bad. Sorry, guys. The studio's got to remind me. Like I said previously during that brief interview... No, it's too soon. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Cut the cameras. Cut the cameras. Did you guys cut the cameras? No. <laughs> um, anyway, <laughs> so in other news, we have some amazing footage of ev any man. <laughs> Every man. He is any man. He could be any man, at least. Every man. This came to us anonymously, him at the library, where he apparently gets his best thoughts. Let's take a moment to rejoice. Good morning, dudes. Go. Going out here right after work and stopping crime. I've seen some better days. I need to come up with a good catchphrase. I'm every man. No, not shit. I always come to the community library for ideas. But today, the ideas are just not what I'm used to. I don't know if I can stop crime, but I can try and stop crime. For I'm Every man, seeker of justice,
perseverer of injustice, <laughs> I will. In other sad news, the animal shelter burnt down today. Across the street from my house, ironically. Just hear the kittens and puppies cry. It's the saddest thing ever. I'm still crying about it. On top of Mr. Criminal dying? <laughs> <laughs> this is Clark Kent signing off. Day at 6 p.m. talking about the news. Every day on the dot. I feel so powerless sometimes. And it's terrible. It's nothing to do with any sort of bullet wounds or damage that has happened to me from other things I do after I'm done recording the news i wouldn't i uh, i wouldn't dare Sh uh, are we live yeah I'm, i've been recording oh. since like 30 seconds ago oh oh i missed the first little bit oh me too oh oh no hi i'm clark kant and today downtown smith street there was a water line break causing the flooding of five ant hills how unfortunate. Due to decrease in anthill population, though, the children had a fun time. But on the downside, it was also sewage water. So, who knows? Today, on West Side, we had a disturbance of peace. Due to some punk kids playing loud music about some boy on a skateboard. Caused a real holdup in traffic. One of them hit their guitar on someone's car. Like, I can't believe this girl. Luckily, she's been arrested and apprehended. Charges will be pressed. And people will be insured. Or, well, reimbursed. Due to their insurance. Which is important. But also kind of stupid to be required. Like, it should be your choice. Like, insurance isn't like it. Like, insurance isn't even real if you think about it. It's just this thing that you sign. And you're like, well, I guess this means that if something happens magically, I will be financially compensated or helped at the very least. But then again, there's also insurances that don't do that. Like, my car insurance, like, I get free towing, but that's it. If I, like, wreck my car, I have to pay for that out of pocket. You think I make good money here? You know how much they pay me to be a news, rec like, a newsman? I'm, it's... You are worth at least cheap. Sure, I doubt you need $50 million. I didn't have the $50 million. That's why I flipped them off. My bank account has seven cents in it right now. You know why? I don't. Because you're every man. What? It's because of all the gadgets that you have as every man. That I'm not every man. I couldn't be. I'm reporting the news. Every man is an amazing person, and I wish I could be him one day. But I'm not. I'm just a news reporter. Do we understand? Newly built! Twin Tower World Trade Center. It is an amazing time to be alive. 100 years since the incident. 100 years? 10 years, sorry. Sorry. I, I sorry. thought this was the, it, the they say the lines it comes in through the imaginary earpiece. It's hard to keep track. 10 years ago. Today marks Wait, it's been more than 10 years. It's been what the fuck are 21 these guys years. And this imaginary earpiece just spitting out bullshit. All right. It has been, how many years? 21. 21 years since the Twin Towers fell. Brand new Twin Towers was built. Terrible news, though, just yesterday they also fell. Due to cheap construction supplies, the price on steel seems to be too steep for the government. Isn't that interesting? 
and they should stop him hard. I was able to fix my glasses temporarily, but they still fall apart. I need to put them back on. <laughs>